Hey guys, I saw here, and today we're going to be talking about the latest patch for Mass Effect Andromeda and the future patches they have coming up. So the last week we've had a pretty big patch come to the game, which has fixed quite a lot of shit, as you can see listed here, which I do have some thoughts on. Obviously the first biggest thing they patched was the facial expressions, especially with Addison's famous My Face is Tired look, as the scene now looks like this. Alright, what happened? To who? To whom? And your goddamn father. Sorry, my face is tired from dealing with everything. And right now, I just want to know what happened with Alec. Now, the difference is definitely there with the extra animations and the um, toned down, crazy eyed look she was known for before completely gone. If you want my personal opinion, they should have just delayed the game even for a week to put these little extra things in because if that's all it took, then they really should have gotten onto it earlier or, you know, delayed it so they have more time to put this stuff in. Hell, Inquisition's animations are pretty damn good and that's an older game than Andromeda. However, I will say that the characters do look a lot better than they did before. As you can see, playing in the background throughout the video, I made another save file as default Sarah Ryder to see the changes they made with her. And I gotta say, she is looking a lot better, especially proportions wise, in the um, mouth department and everywhere else. I will miss Lexi's face she pulls at the beginning though. It's just so damn relatable. I pull that exact face at least once a day. Moving on though, the increase in inventory is a much needed fix, which I'm glad they amended. As someone that hoards a lot of stuff in video games regarding inventory, I need a ton of space and an AT item limit ain't that great. There will be even more additional patches rolling out throughout the next two months, including things like more options and variety in the character creator, improvements to hair and general appearance for characters, ongoing improvements to cinematic scenes and animations, improvements to male romance options for Scott Ryder, and adjustments to conversations with Hayley Abrams. Now let's go over everything from top to bottom. Hold on to your butts. For the character creator, I really do hope that they bring in more options for it. I know it's a separate title, but the character creator in Dragon Age Inquisition was so detailed and well done. You could do so much intricate shaping for your character and a wide variety of options, which as someone who loves my RPGs and spending hours upon hours in the character creator shaping my character exactly how I want them to look, having a good character creator is really important to me as a gamer. And with Mass Effect Andromeda's character creator, coming from Inquisitions I feel quite let down by it. It's so limited and while I do like how I can go with a crazy hair colour and give my rider a kick-ass tattoo, and for me personally the female hair options are quite lovely, it's just not as brilliant. Improvements to hair and general appearance so far seems to be going good considering what they've done so far to patch out all the derpiness and the infamous my face is tired meme. Same goes for animations during cutscenes and whatnot. Even though it's as simple as adding an extra animation with her running her hand over her face, it makes the world of difference. It really does. Now the next improvements they'll be doing are improvements to male romance options for Scott Ryder. And so they should. If you go through so much effort for the romances of Hebe and Cora, along with their really explicit moaning filled sex scenes, then you can put the same amount of effort into the gay romance scenes instead of just a fade to black. Mind you, it isn't just all of the sweet loving that they need to improve on, it's the lack of care. If you flirt with Reyes whilst in a romance with Gil, neither will acknowledge the fact that your boy Scotty is cheating on them, which if you ask me is pretty shite. And finally, the adjustments to conversations with Hayley Abrams. Now if you weren't aware, Hayley is a trans character in Mass Effect Andromeda, however the way the writers at Bioware have gone with this character is frankly pretty bad. The interaction is basically, oh hey nice to meet you, by the way I'm like totally trans, I used to be called Stefan. Please listen to my life story even though we just met 5 seconds ago. Now Bioware has addressed this with the following blog post. At Bioware we strive to make games that are representative of our players and the broader world around us. We do this by actively consulting within our diverse workforce as well as speaking with different communities. In Mass Effect Andromeda, one of our non-player characters, Hanley Abrams, was not included in a caring or thoughtful way. We apologise to anyone who interacted with or was hurt by this conversation. This was never our intent and was an unfortunate byproduct of the iterative process of game design and a change in the structure of the character's dialogue. We have had several discussions with members of the transgender community both internally at Bioware and in the broader community and we are working to remedy this issue. Once the changes are implemented, Hayley will only reveal certain information to Ryder after they have developed trust and only if the player chooses to support her. Which is good on them for owning up, but 
Come on, if you're gonna write a trans character, please do it with respect and not in a poorly thought out Oh hi, nice to meet you. I'm trans. Way. I know this was back in Inquisition. Yes, I'm mentioning that game a lot, but it was the most recent Bioware game before Andromeda. Plus, I like it. Anyway, I noticed this back with Krem, one of Iron Bull's charges. He mentions binding, which, if you don't know, is that thing that female to male transgender people do to bind back breasts. And your character can ask some of the following questions. When did you know? Why pass as a man? And are you a woman? The only way not to offend Krem or Bull is to completely ignore the comment about binding and move on with the conversation. So Bioware definitely has some room for improvement in that regard. In my personal opinion, I think if you're going to write a trans character, make sure you do your homework and I don't know, consult with someone that is trans, like get them to have like, I don't know, some input on the character that you're writing instead of just, I don't know, wandering around in the dark. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. Let me know what you think down below, what are your thoughts on these changes? Do you feel like the male options for Scott need improvement? And Hamley Abrams, what do you think of that situation? And anything I mentioned, let me know down in the comments below. If you like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. And as always, it's Icefire signing off. And I'll see you in two bits all later next time on the channel. Have a lovely day slash night wherever you are in the world. Bye!